This video shows how to perform chi-square goodness of fit test. So for example, there is a research show that the proportion of the male and female students in a public university in Malaysia differ quite a lot. Okay. So there are about 60% of the students in the public university are female and 40% are male. We want to investigate whether the proportion of the male and female student in this class is same as the general trend. So to conduct the study, I took a sample from this class. So the sample consists of 20 students. And then for each student, I will record their gender, whether it's male or female. So this is how I organize the data. And the data that I collected are nominal data. So to test the, whether the proportion between the male and females is similar to what had been studied before, I would need to run a statistical test, as this is just a sample that I took from a population, which consists of more than 100 students. So the first step is to define our working directory where we keep our file. Just click run. So now we have our working directory set. Then we need to load the data into the R. So before that, we need to name an object. So we can write mail. Okay. Equal to read CSV, open and close quotations. Go to the location where you save the data set that you have organized. Copy the name of the file and also the extension of the file. Then pass in to the R. After that, click run. We need to check our data set. Just click on the data set and check if this is a correct data set. So as you can see, the data is still organized according to the, each of the student. So the next thing that we need to do is to summarize the data. One way to do it is to summarize the frequency of the male and female for this data set. In this case, we need to create an object. Let's say it's a table, male, female. So we use a table function to summarize the data. Just table bracket. Select our data set. So this is our data set. And in our data set, we have two variables. One is a student ID. Another one is gender. So we would like to summarize the gender, the frequency of male and female. So in this case, we just select gender, then click run. So you can check the table by type again, the object name, so this is the table, you just click run, and the table of frequency for this data set will be shown. So the next step is to perform the chi-square test. So remember, the proportion between the male and female student that we want to test is 60.5% and male 39.5%. So this is a note that I made. Then we can start to perform our chi-square. So the chi-square command is chi-square test. What we need to do, we need to put the table of frequency, which is the one that we have just made. So we can just copy, then paste. After that, we need to specify the aspect proportion between the male and female student that we want to test. So in this case, we have two percentage. One is 60.5 for the female. The second one for male is 
So we just type P equal C because you have two values, so I have to put the C. So for 60.5% is 0 0.605. For the 39.5% is 0 0.395. So we want to test whether the expected, the observed frequency of male and female student is equal to the expected frequency. So our null hypothesis is there is no significant difference so that means that our data follow the proportion of male and female student that we observe as a general trend for Malaysian university and the alpha that we use usually is 0 0.05 so we can click run so this is a test value so we have the chi-square value and also degree of freedom and we will decide whether we're going to reject or not to reject the null hypothesis based on the p-value. If the p-value is larger than 0 0.05, then we will not reject the null hypothesis. In addition to the table that we use as a tool to summarize our data, we also can summarize the data by using a chart. So what we need to do, we can just type bar plot just copy the frequency table that we have created just now then just click so we can add the title as usual we can also label the axis And if you are happy with the layout, then we can export the data. Just click save and it will save into your working directory. And also remember to save your script.